I'm Anil Kumar and here is a test question for you on polynomial functions. The question here is write possible power function for the given graph. Identify any symmetry, right? So we have two questions here. First one you have to write a possible equation. Second one identify any symmetry. So you have four different graphs here. I'd like you to pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Now what is the power function? Power function is of the form y equals to a x to the power of n where a belongs to real numbers and n belongs to whole numbers, correct? That is what a power function is. So let's answer these questions one by one. The first one here to write down a power function, it is important to analyze end behavior. So, so the idea is to analyze end behavior. In this case, we see the graph moves to opposite ends. That means odd degree, right? So we have odd degree, opposite ends. And it ends in quadrant 4. That means negative coefficient, negative a n, leading coefficient, negative. A value is negative. And therefore, we could write this as, as y equals to negative x to the power of, let us say, 5. So that's how you get your equation. Correct? Now, based on this, I'd like you to find appropriate equation for the next graph. Well, here, what we observed, both are same side, right? So that means even degree and positive value of A, right? Positive value of A. And we could write this equation as Y equals 2. Let us say we say, let us say half X to the power of, let's say 4. Okay. It could be 2, 6, whatever, but it has to be even degree, right? since both are on the same sides. Now let me push this a bit so that you can clearly see the other two graphs. What should be the equation for these two? Well here again it is the opposite ends. I mean the same side. Right side is down. That means negative. You could write y equals to negative. Maybe x to the power of even number. Same side right. So let's say square could be right. Now what about this? This is a linear function. A power function, linear means n is 1, right? So y equals to, since it ends up here in quadrant 4, negative. So we could write negative x. So that is how we could write equation for the given power functions. By observing the graph. From the graph, you have to make out the sign for leading coefficient, a, and also find whether the degree is even or odd. For even degree, end behavior is same side. For odd degree, opposite ends. That is kind of important. Positive leading coefficient means quadrant 1. And negative leading coefficient means quadrant 3. Right? So if it ends in quadrant 1, positive leading coefficient. But if it ends in in quadrant 4, that means negative leading coefficient, right? That is how you could get equation of a power function. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best. Feel free to subscribe to my videos and share them with your friends. Thank you.